हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टूडेज केमिस्ट्री क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक इज टूडेज चैप्टर इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड पीरियोडिसिटी इन प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो दिस इज द थर्ड यूनिट इन दिस इन यूर सिलेबस ओके क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड पीरियोडिसिटी इन प्रॉपर्टीज एंड आई नो यू आर वेरी फेमिलियर विद द वर्ड एलिमेंट्स ओके सो इन एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स वॉट डू यू मीन बाई एलिमेंट्स करेक्ट Uh, and uh, next i will explain you periodicity in properties in the last uh, unit i have explained about uh, elements okay then the, these are the contents of what i have i am going to teach you in this unit the first one is why do we need to classify the elements okay why the elements should be classified and genesis of periodic classification and the third one is modern periodic law and the present form of the periodic table in this you are studying about the periodic laws okay and also you will study about the periodic table then nomenclature of elements with a atomic number greater than 100 okay how do elements are classified uh, so these four after that uh, electro any configurations of elements and periodic table okay and uh, the is there are some uh, sp uh, the electronic configuration and types of elements spdf blocks they will come after that periodic trends in properties of elements this is the last concept okay so i think uh, shall i start with uh, why shall I, shall i start with the first concept okay first concept is why do we need to classify the elements okay so this is the first topic here okay uh, before going to this i want to explain you i will uh, give up like uh, some i will uh, what i will teach in uni- in this unit and uh, all i will explain so in this unit uh, i we will study the historical development of the periodic table what we will study uh, historic development okay as it stands today and the modern periodic law we will also learn how the periodic classification follows as a logical consequence of the electronic configuration of atoms okay finally we shall examine some of the periodic trends in the physical and chemical properties of the elements also we will study so now you come to the why do we need to classify the elements okay we know <coughs> by now that the elements are the basic unit of all the types of matter correct so elements are the basic unit consider the elements are the basic units what basic units of matter okay so in 1800 1800 only 31 elements were known when 1800 only the 31 elements are known and elements were known okay so by 1865 the number of identified elements had more than doubled to 63 so where in 18 please note down this 1865 there are 63 numbers again they are discovered at present 114 elements are known now we know what at present 114 elements are known okay so of them the recently discovered elements are man made so recently some of in the 14 114 elements some of them are man made okay so next is uh, the re- efforts to synthesize new elements are continuing with such a large number of elements it is very difficult to study individually the chemistry of all these elements and their innumerable compounds individually okay to ease out this problem scientists search for synthetic way to organize their knowledge by classifying the elements okay to ease out of this problems scientists search for synthetic way scientists search for systematic way to organize their knowledge by classifying the elements not only that it would rationalize known chemical facts about elements but even predict new ones for understanding further study okay so why do we need to classify the elements because first you have to write what do you mean by element after that when 
during the 1800 it is the uh, 31 elements are discovered okay and uh, next is uh, uh, during 1865 there are uh, 63 elements are discovered at present 114 elements are known and in that man made also present man made elements are also present so this is about why do we need to classify the elements this is the first concept is over then and the next concept is uh, genesis of periodic classification okay so here come classification of elements into groups and development of periodic law on periodic tables are the consequence of soft systematizing the knowledge gained by number of scientists through their observations and experiments okay your classification of elements we are doing uh, the classification of elements into groups uh, and development of uh, uh, we are here they are finding scientists who are finding the periodic law and also periodic table later on you will understand what it means what do you mean by periodic law and periodic table okay so uh, the consequences of systemizing the knowledge gained by number of scientists through their observations and experiments okay the scientists uh, through their observations and experiments they have given the periodic law and also periodic table by just classifying the elements into groups so, so uh, how it is uh, it happened means as i'm explaining about genesis of periodic classification the so the german chemist johnson dober near in early 18000 was the first to consider the idea of trends among properties of elements okay by 1829 he noted the similarity among the physical and chemical properties of several groups of three elements uh, he noted the properties of several group of three elements he just noted the properties of three elements these three elements are called triads okay so in 1829 in each case the he noticed that the middle element of each of the triads middle element whatever he is considering the three elements 1 2 3 like this the middle element okay of each of the triads had an atomic weight about half way between the atomic weights of the other two okay so this will this can be explained i will i will give the dober near who is the dober near scientist dober near i n e s yes. triads these are called the this it is having one table that is called uh doberianus table okay so also the properties of the middle element were in between those of the other two numbers okay i will show the figure of that so this is i shown in this figure there are the three elements they have made the group of three elements he made the group of three elements so the middle one okay so here whatever the middle one is present middle one element of each of the triads had an atomic weight about half way between the atomic weights of the other two okay also the properties of the middle element were in between those of the other two members so, since uh, this relationship referred to as a law of triads so what is called it as law of triads law of triads okay so next to come to that the next reported attempt to classify elements was made by the french geologist in 1862 he arranged the he arranged that known elements in order of increasing atomic weights so after this uh, this is over now and after that this is next to what he is explaining the scientist okay who is that the scientist scientist in 1862 uh, okay the geologist scientist he is a french geologist in 1862 he arranged the known elements in order of increasing atomic weights known elements in order of 
increasing what increasing atomic weights Incre in increasing atomic weights and made a cylindrical table of elements to display the periodic recurrence of properties this also did not attract much attention the english chemist then the another scientist came that is new land in 1865 new land okay profounded the law of octaves next is law of octaves okay so in 1862 the known elements in order only just in atomic weight he is increasing order just he arranged but in uh, new land he is the scientist what he given the law of octaves okay so he arranged the elements in increasing order of their atomic number the first one is okay but i noted that he also noted that every eighth element had properties similar to the first element okay this can be observed like see here this is seven nine and this is considering this is having a okay so just consider seven nine like increasing order okay this is one two three four five six seven okay again the eighth element which is having the same properties like that this new land octaves gave the law okay so the relationship was just like every eighth noted that the resembles the first in octaves of music new land's law of octaves seem to be true only for elements up to calcium only it is it is acceptable okay up to calcium only it is acceptable after that no so the periodic law as we know it today so that is a, a modern periodic law okay so this is about the uh, what in newland's octaves equation newland's octaves what he given for this periodic table okay so man again another scientist uh, they will come uh, his name is okay wait his name is mandliu okay mandliu and uh, the another one is lothar so both these scientists these two scientists working they independently worked both the chemists in 1869 proposed that they have proposed in 1869 uh, that on arranging elements in the increasing order of their atomic numbers okay they arranged in increasing order of their increasing order of their atomic numbers and uh, atomic weights uh, atomic yes okay so increasing order of their atomic weights and uh, then uh, their similarities appear in physical and chemical properties physical and chemical properties they have observed so at uh, properties at regular intervals and uh, uh, so and observing physical properties means melting point uh, atomic volume atomic uh, and the boiling point uh, he observed all these things okay so after observing uh, all the all about uh, physical and chemical properties uh, Dobberier initiated the study of periodic relationship it was Mandi Mandliu who was responsible for publishing the periodic law of the first time okay so the band leave the scientist he given the first periodic or the statement periodic law statement he stated that please remember this uh, statement it is a uh, very helpful to you and they may ask the band leave statement of periodic law the properties of the elements are a periodic function of their atomic weights whatever the properties of the elements are there are a periodic function of their atomic weights okay so periodic function of their atomic weights 
मैंडली वॉट ही एक्सप्लेन इन मैंडली मैंडली स्टेटमेंट सो इन दैट कंसिडर दिस इज द अटोमिक वेट ओके सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट एका अल्युमिनियम एंड एका सिलिकॉन लेट जस्ट नाउ कंसिडर मैंडली अरेन्ज एलिमेंट्स इन हॉरिजोटल रो अरेन्ज इन हॉरिजोटल रो एंड वर्टिकल कॉलम्स ऑफ टेबल इन ऑर्डर ऑफ देर इंक्रीजिंग अटोमिक वेट्स इन सच अ वे दैट द एलिमेंट्स विथ सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज एक्यूपाइड द सेम वर्टिकल कॉलम और ए ग्रुप सो एज शोन इन दिस फिगर ओके सो इन दिस दे आर दे आर हैव इन इंक्रीजिंग अटोमिक वेट ओके सो आफ्टर दैट द एथ एलिमेंट दिस इज अबाउट न्यूजीलैंड एज मैंडली ऑल्सो गिव द सेम एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर दिस बट ही कंसिडर द सम ऑफ द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड ही गिवन द स्टेटमेंट ओके सो वेर एवर द ही अरेन्ज द दम इन अ हॉरिजोटल ओके सो मैंडली पीरियोडिक लॉ विच इज लाइक अ न्यूजीलैंड लॉ बट देर इज द सम डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस ओके सो दिस इज अ मैंडली स्पीरियोडिक टेबल पब्लिश्ड अर्लियर सो वॉट एवर ही इज अरेंजिंग दिस इन अ इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ओके ऑफ अटोमिक वेट एंड ही अरेंज इन अ वर्टिकल कॉलम एंड हॉरिजोटल रोस सो बाई इंक्रीजिंग अटोमिक वेट इन सच अ वे दैट द एलिमेंट्स विथ अ सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज एक्यूपाइड द सेम वर्टिकल कॉलम आर ग्रुप सो दे एक्यूपाई इफ द इट इज इन वर्टिकल कॉलम मीन्स दे एक्यूपाई द सेम ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर द आयोडीन विथ लोअर अटोमिक वेट दैन दैट ऑफ द टेलरियम was placed in group 7th along with fluorine chlorine bromine because of similarities in properties okay so i shown in this figure see so just consider here the atomic weight iodine with atomic weight so where it is uh, the iodine the group 5th 6th and 7th okay what they are telling in group tellurium teller, okay see there fluorine and chlorine will come okay so this is uh, what they are explaining means uh, a lower atomic weight than that of the tellurium was placed in group 8 5th 7th along with the fluorine along with the fluorine which is kept and brom iodine see here iodine is there correct which is having lower atomic weight than that of the सिक्स्थ एलिमेंट टेलरियम ओके सो विच इज हैविंग द लोअर एटॉमिक वेट ओके सो हियर विच इज हैविंग द लोअर एटॉमिक वेट बट ऑल्सो इट इज प्रेजेंट इन दिस ओके बिकॉज ऑफ द सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज एज अ फ्लोरिन क्रोमियम लाइक ब्रोमीन लाइक इट इज हैविंग सो दैट इट इज कैप्डिट कैप्डियो at the same time keeping his primary aim of arranging the elements of similar properties in the same group he proposed the sum of the elements was still undiscovered and therefore left several gaps in the table so here as just you can observe in this table there are the some gaps here he given this this is because undiscovered at for the undiscovered elements okay so uh, For example, both gallium and germanium were unknown at the time. Mainly, when Mandelieu proposed his periodic table, he left the gap under aluminium and gap under the silicon and called these elements eka aluminium and eka silicon. Okay, as uh, I shown this, uh, this is eka aluminium and this is eka silicon. He just given before gallium and germanium. Okay, so uh, this uh, these were not discovered at that time. so okay so the bond le uh, boldness of uh, mandelieu's quantitative periodicians and their eventual success made him and his periodic table famous mandelieu's periodic table okay so where he, he published this man uh, periodic table that is known as uh, mandelieu's periodic table this is a mandelieu's periodic table okay just have a glance about this periodic table